Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and dignity and wisdom and strength and honor. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we offer this mass for the repose of the soul of, uh, of Anio Gales. And we ask God for his pardon and strength. You are the way to the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You are the truth that makes us free, Christ of mercy. Christ have mercy. You are the life we're called to live, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray that being rightly conformed to the Paschal mysteries, what we celebrate in joy may protect and save us with perpetual power. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and Presbyters, in agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered by them. The apostles and the presbyters were brothers to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, Cilicia, of gentle origin, greetings. Since we have heard that some of our numbers who went out without any mandate from us have upset you with these teachings, with their teachings, and disturbed your peace of mind. We have, with one accord, decided to choose representatives and to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas, who will also convey this same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely to abstain from meat sacrifice to idols, from blood, from meat of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of this, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. And so they were sent on their journey. Upon their arrival to Antioch, they called the assembly together and delivered the letter. When the people read this, they were delighted with exhortation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God. Our response is, I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. My heart is Steadfast, O oh God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O oh my soul, awake, lie and heart. I will wake the dawn. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O oh Lord. I will thank, I will give thanks to you among the peoples, O oh Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations. For your mercy towards to the heavens and your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God. Above all the earth be your glory. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. Hallelujah.
gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will last, that will remain, so that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of the things that I spend um, <clears throat> a good portion of my time as a pastor is uh, uh, counseling uh, engaged couples, sometimes married couples, but uh, part of our marriage preparation is uh, several sessions with me. And, uh, and one of the things I tell couples, it surprises them a bit, and I always say that, uh, you know, that in, in marriage, uh, the, first, the first promise that gets broken is, is usually the first promise that you make. And uh, the first promise isn't to love each other. The first promise isn't to honor each other. The first promise is to be true to each other. Uh, the traditional vows say, I take you to be my spouse. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. And yes, I will love and honor you all the days of my life, <clears throat> or to death to his part. But that promise to be true, uh, it's a, a call to uh, a, uh, an extraordinary um, uh, transparency. Uh, it implies a profound trust that, uh, you know, I will not hide from you. Uh, I will always tell you the truth. I will, and so the idea is that, you know, again, your, your best marriages are when, you, when, when, when two people are best friends. Uh, it's not just, uh, you know, just their spouse, but the idea that they've already built up a, a genuine friendship. Uh, the example I always point to is uh, if you look in the... Um, you know, in the story of uh, Adam and Eve, when Adam, that fall of Adam and Eve, it, it's a, uh, a kind of an odd story where it says that uh, when they eat the forbidden fruit, it says, with, and with that they realized they were naked, and they covered themselves. And so one of the things I tell couples, I said, you know, that, well, they were, the idea is that not so much that they didn't realize up to that point that they were naked, but the idea of being, you know, vulnerable. And it says that, and the idea was that, at that point, after sin entered in, it says that they no longer, you know, they, they cover themselves. And the word in Hebrew for cover themselves, it really connotes protected themselves. For the first time, they didn't feel safe in each other's presence to be so vulnerable. Let me get a, let me cover myself. You know, and so, so one of the things I tell mm, folks is, uh, you know, that one thing in discerning your future spouse is uh, one, one barometer simply asks, is this a person with whom I feel safe? Uh, I don't have to hide. I don't need to put a protective barrier. I don't, it's like, I can be transparent. And it's, I, I'm not afraid to, I'm not afraid of you. Uh, I'm not afraid that, that you, uh, I don't want to walk on the eggshells. I don't want to offend you, I don't want to upset you. It's like, we're friends, you know, we trust each other. And I say all that to say that in the gospel today, it's that we don't overlook the simple phrase and profound phrase that Jesus says, you know, that <clears throat> I don't call you slaves call you friends. Uh, you are my friends. Uh, and it says, if you do what I command you. And the idea is not simply that, you know, that, <clears throat> that uh, you know, if, you, if you're my friend, you, you do what I say do. Uh, that's not usually even how friends talk. If you're my friend, you do what I tell you. What he's saying is that, that uh, one of the clear signs that I, I know that, that you have, you do trust me, uh, is that, you know, you do what I ask you to do, what I command you to do. And, uh, and if you're not my friend, I know you won't. Because what Christ commands us is uh, what God asks of us is everything. What God calls us to do will often go beyond our comfort zone. We're not going to do that for someone we don't trust. But if we truly have opened our hearts to see what an amazing friend Jesus is to us, that is what frees us to become a 
great, a good friend to him. And so he invites us, <clears throat> we should just, uh, we need to sit with the truth that he invites us into this profound friendship. Uh, there's a song that says, what a friend we have in Jesus. And so we do. But the question that still remains is, what kind of friend does Jesus have in you? The Lord makes himself completely vulnerable to us on the cross, on the altar. Do we trust him to make ourselves completely vulnerable to him? To lay down our lives first and foremost for him? Because when we do, when we offer ourselves to him, just like the bread and the wine, <clears throat> we let his spirit come upon that gift and make it holy, and then it's given away. As we embrace and accept the invitation to be friends of God, know that the Lord will then send us forth to, to witness to his friendship to others. For this is his commandment, love one another the way I loved you. Let us heed the word of our best friend, and let us accept the grace to be a friend of Jesus. Let us bring before the Lord our prayers and petitions. <clears throat> we pray for the church throughout the world that she may go forth in the power of the Spirit, spreading the good news of God's enduring presence and faithful love. We pray to the Lord. Lord we, we continue to pray for peace in our world. We pray first for an end to this uh, devastating pandemic. Uh, we pray for healing. We pray for peace. We pray for uh, an end to the scourge of violence and war. We pray to the Lord. Lord we we pray for all of our sisters and brothers who lack the basic necessities of life, like food and shelter, uh, employment, health care, friends and family to support them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our parish school, our faculty and staff, and the children uh, continue to learn from home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, uh, those in hospitals, those in nursing homes, those for whom we have promised to pray, and those who need our prayers the most. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for for uh, all those who have died, that they may share in the fullness of the banquet of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we offer those prayers in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And trusting our prayers, our Heavenly Father, we ask for the intercession of our Blessed Mother as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, which have become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, which have become for us our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. Let us pray that my sacrifice in yours be acceptable to God, the mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to claim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he 
brought the sacrifice of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by comm commanding himself, commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome the past with joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall. They may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up. of 
crucified is risen from the dead and has redeemed us. Hallelujah. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord with your life. Thanks be to God.